Let's throw him. He does, he's a loose cannon. Move over, Bond. Our own action adventure man is solving a South Florida mystery. Well, spells his name and voices are his game. But is this radio renegade for real? When we come back, a special Todd investigation you won't believe. If you don't listen to AM Talk Radio, you probably don't know a controversial host named Phil Hendry, famous for voice impersonations. Hendry not only interviews callers, he is a few of them, fooling most of his listeners. In a special Todd investigation, we ask, is it a hoax or is it real? This man may be the mastermind of the biggest talk radio hoax in South Florida. Phil Hendry is a controversial talk show host on WIOD Radio. Seen here on home video, obtained by Eyewitness News, Hendry has been the focus of newspaper articles touting his ability to create fictional people on his show. One clipping even shows Hendry speaking into the phone, supposedly in character. But in our exclusive Todd investigation, we've discovered that these fictional characters are all too real. I can no longer talk to women who are friends of mine. I'm like Thank you. <laughs> Bal Harbor resident Margaret Gray is spearheading a campaign to expose Henry's alleged hoax. I cannot allow myself to obviously be seen on television. I have been made a mockery of enough, Mr. Tongan. That's right, with the longhorns on the front, right. right. Gray has teamed up with Dallas-based entrepreneur Steve Warnell. I exist. Phil Henry's taking credit for somehow inventing me. Now, I've never heard of anything like that, okay? Only person to take credit for that is my mother, right? My, my daddy. Hey, 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 hey. Get him a beer, will you? It's all right, it's all right. Get him a beer. You want a beer? One of the cameras over here is embarrassing. You're embarrassing him. Turn it off. They have filed a class action lawsuit along with this man, a one Brad the Booger Belmonte. And I will join them in bringing forward to the court this motion of him being a scumbag. See, the Puma Indians, man, have a legend about that. A South Florida surfer known as Sundown, wanted by authorities for trespassing on private beaches, says his legal problems made him an easy target for Hendry. So this dude stealing my soul and my identity says he's me? That's bogus to the extreme. Man, it's way, way, way out of control. I'll tell you, man, I fear for his afterlife. Excuse me, Mr. Hendry. When caught by our cameras, Hendry admitted he doesn't do impersonations. But he refused to discuss the accolades he's received supposedly for doing them. Get that thing out of my face, okay? Sir, if we could just talk to you, comment is all we're asking for. After repeated requests for comment from WIOD General Manager Bob Green went unanswered, we dropped by. Unannounced. Mr. Green. Uh, no, no, I got no comment. I, I just I want to talk to you no, about it. No. Phil Hendry, one of your radio personalities. Yeah, the guy's a loose cannon. I got lawsuits till next Christmas. Mr. Hendry will rue the day that he ever perpetrated this hoax on the people of South Florida. Make pretending like there are people that he's uh, doing. Excuse me, gentlemen. Margaret, the lawyer's on the phone when you have a minute. All right. And anyway, I would... Oh, no, the lights. Not the lights. Please turn that off. Well, obviously our investigation ran into a little snag at that point, but the four principal characters involved in this lawsuit say they're going to proceed with legal action against Mr. Hendry. We will continue to follow this story and get back to you on it. With a special Todd investigation, I'm Todd Tongan, Channel 10 Eyewitness News.